How to help change the world. Change is good, it is progress. Below are how to implement positive change. Helping humanity. Volunteer or donate to charity. It's not just about working in a soup kitchen or visiting the old folks' home. Today anyone can volunteer to do anything. Contact the local volunteer organizations in your area and discover a cause that you feel passionate about. Start a petition, donate money, support a charity, fundraise, or be an advocate. Don't donate to the first charity you come across. There are huge differences in efficiency. If you want to make sure that your money is used to save as many lives as possible, do check out GiveWell.org. Picking one of their most recommended charities is quick and easy, but you can also read up on why they chose those if you're interested. Other possible sites are BBB Start With Trust or Charity Navigator. Buy a wristband. They are all the rage in Hollywood, with lots of celebrities sporting the most recent fashion accessory, a charity wristband. Not only do they look cool, they're cheap and a great way to do your bit for your favorite cause. If you want to help the developing world, the best charities are ones which help people to help themselves. These do the most good by enabling communities to strengthen and improve themselves. Examples of charities that do work like this are Heifer International, Kiva, or Free the Children. Education charities, like One Laptop Per Child, are also good. Shop carefully. Businesses are some of the most important and influential organizations in the world today. They are involved with, or in some way influence, almost any issue you can think of and can sometimes be even more influential than governments in those issues. Luckily, you have opportunities every day to encourage businesses to do the right thing. Every time you buy something, you are giving your approval for whatever process was involved in its production. The next time you're in the grocery store, take an extra look at the labels. Take a close look at your options. Ask yourself questions, do I want to support this type of business? Are the farmers or factory workers that made this treated well? Is this product traded fairly? Is it healthy? Is it good for the environment? Does the sale of this product help support an oppressive political regime? Take part in blood donations. Many countries, especially Australia, Britain, Canada, and the United States, frequently experience record lows of blood stores and desperately need more people to donate. It only takes about half an hour and doesn't hurt much. Visit Red Cross or United Blood Services for more information. Become an advocate. Speak up about injustices in the world and get your friends involved, too. Organize fundraisers to help raise money for your chosen charity or cause. If you can't raise money, add your voice to those already campaigning to end poverty, war, injustice, sexism, racism, or corruption in the world. Activism can start at any age. Craig Kielberger was 12 years old when he became an activist for child labor rights. He went on, with his brother, to start free the children in Mitui. Become an organ donor. You won't need your organs when you are dead, so why not give them to someone who can use them? Save the lives of up to eight people by placing yourself on the organ donor's register in your country. Talk about the decision with your family and let them know your wishes. 